In this example, I'll take a look at uh, trying to apply Venn diagrams to solve uh, this problem. It has actually kind of three subsets within. Now, I did a video in terms of the introduction and that had an example with two uh, kind of circles or two subsets within a Venn diagram. I'll put up a link up above there for that. And in here, okay, so we have the following. So it says a college program has 229 students. Uh, from the set of students, 82 are interested in applying into the nursing program. Uh, 75 students are interested in applying into the dental program. 51 students are interested in applying into the fitness program. So from the interested applicants, 13 students are interested in nursing and dental. All right, so 21 in dental and fitness and 19 in nursing and fitness. And six students from those applicants are interested in all three. So it says draw a Venn diagram to help you map out kind of the student interest. Okay, so let's do that. So in terms of mapping out and drawing a Venn diagram, you know, so we would draw out our kind of rectangular shape, which represents um, the entire set, I guess, of students that we would have. So typically it's called kind of S. And now we do have three uh, things in here. We have a set of applicants for nursing, you know, a set of applicants for dental and a set of applicants for fitness. So within this um, Venn diagram, I'm gonna actually have kind of three circular items. Now, the circles actually are not necessarily proportional to exactly the number of students in each. They're just more of a representation so that we can nice and easily kind of draw this out. Maybe let me make the circles a little bit bigger. And um, so that way, so I'll duplicate this one so that we have a nice kind of path in here. So maybe something like that. And then here's my third one. So I'll do this, okay? And now let's label them. So we have, so nursing, dental, and fitness. So our sets, and you know, you will find that sometimes, you know, you, you can have S, you know, N, where N stands for nursing, S subscript D, which stands for dental and fitness. So we can do that. Or I can just simply write, okay, so this is gonna be my set for nursing. This is gonna be my set for dental. And then let's call this set for fitness. Now, it doesn't matter which one you label. Now, I do need to know all the information, right? So I'm gonna just kind of jot it down for myself first, okay? So there are 229 in total. So given pieces of information, so the total number is equal to 229. This doesn't mean that the 229, um, all of the applicants, so N, F, and D are those, okay? Um, now, from the set of students, 82 are interested in applying into the nursing program. So 82 into nursing, so 82 into nursing. We have 75 into dental, so dental, 75. We have 51 students are interested in applying into fitness. So 51. And now they do give us, uh, but notice now there's an intersection. So there are 13 applicants, both in nursing and dental. All right. So nursing and dental. So the number of students here Okay, is equal to 13. Now, of course, we can. these are all also numbers. Okay, so N, total numbers of these. So N and D is 13. And then we have 21 in D and F. In D and F, all right. So that's 21. And then I guess the last one there, um, 19 in nursing and fitness, nursing and fitness, that's 19. And then there is the total of intersection between all three. All right, and that was six. 
Okay, so if I have this, then how would I actually map this out? So again, when you're trying to draw the Venn diagram, the way that I do it is, I go from the smallest, right? And then I just start to stem out, okay? Make them bigger and bigger. So I will start with the intersection within here, okay? Between all three is six. So let's say these are all numbers. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say, okay, so there are six in total that have applied to all three, nursing, dental, and fitness. And notice that the circles within the Venn diagram actually nicely capture that, right? And now I'm gonna step back one up, okay? So I'm gonna do this. Well, there's there are 19 students, both in nursing and fitness, okay? But now notice, so it's 19 minus the six, which is, uh, so nine minus the six, so that would have been 13 students, okay, that are only applied to nursing and fitness. So that would have been right here. So notice you have the fitness and the nursing, right? That's the intersection. There are 19 in total, so that's 13 plus the six, right, which tie in between the fitness and the nursing that you see there. And now I can step one back up. So now between dental and fitness, so there's 21. But again, so it's 21 minus the intersection six. So that's 15. So that's dental and fit, uh, fitness. So that would have been here. So there's 15 students in there. And then the last one between nursing and dental. So there are 13. But again, it's 13 minus the six. So I guess that's seven. So that's right here. So now I'm, so I start from the full out intersection between all three, and then I go to the intersection of the two each to find that out. And now, because I know the total, so I know that total in fitness is 51. So notice that's 51. That's the total in fitness, but it would have been minus, right? The 15 minus the six and minus the 13, so that's in fitness, because those were the intersections. And I can find out what that is. So I have 15, uh, sorry, 51 minus 15, minus the six and then minus the 13. So that would have been just 17 in here that have only applied to fitness. The other students actually applied to some other program. Okay, so that would have been fitness. Now dental, well, I do the same thing. So now there's 75. So 75 in total minus, now I have to subtract. So seven minus six minus the 15. So those are the intersections. So that leaves 47 students in here. And then lastly, the nursing. So again, you start 82 minus the seven, minus the six, and minus the 13. So that's 56, right? And now that tells me exactly, you know, all the different intersections that I wanted, okay? And then all the ones that only applied to nursing, only to dental, only to fitness, okay? So that's what I have. Now, how many are still left over, right? Because they said that there's 229 students, so you can do this. You can say, okay, 229. That's my total number of students. And then I can start subtracting. So minus, and then I can go ahead. So this would have been minus 17, you know, minus 13, minus 6, minus 15, minus 7, minus 56, and then minus 47. So there are still 68 students okay, that haven't applied to any of those programs. And in total, if you added them, they're gonna be 229. So that is your Venn diagram that just tells you the total number in each, okay, of those applications, um, and then also all the different intersections. So I hope that kind of gave you a sense, and notice it is a little bit of work to be able to map it out, but now we can get quite a bit of information. So what else do they ask? How many students are interested in applying to nursing, dental, or fitness? So that would have been the union between all of these. 
So it's all the students in here. Now we've kind of done this already because I counted up. So, I mean, this one is not very difficult to do since we know that there are 229. Notice there was 68 that are outside. <clears throat> so we can get what that number is because we already did all that work. So 229 minus 68, so that means 161 have applied to that. So that's pretty um, neat and interesting, okay? Now, so to, to do that, imagine that we didn't have the Venn diagram, um, you know, per se, okay? And we didn't do all of this counting. How would we be able to find, and maybe I'll insert okay, here another page, Okay, squeeze this back in. How would we be able to find the total number, all right, in terms of the union between nursing, so in union with dental, in union with, okay, with fitness, what would have been the total if you actually used all of these numbers right here? What if we used all of these, okay? How would we be able to do that? And here you have to be careful a little bit. So this is the inclusion-exclusion principle within these Venn diagrams. And when you have three different sets, you may recall when you had two different sets, you would just add set A plus set B, but now you've added the intersection two times, so you would say subtracted, the intersection. But now we have three. So what would happen? Well, turns out that we would have to do, okay, what is the total number from the nursing students, total number from the dental students, plus the total number from the fitness students. But we know that there are intersections here, right? So if we would do that, so there are, the total is 82 plus 75 plus 51, but that counts things multiple times. So what I would do within here, I would say, okay, one, two, three, and I would just simply subtract. So I would say, okay, let me subtract the intersection in between the dental students. I would subtract because I don't want to count them multiple times the intersection okay, between the dental fitness students, and then I would subtract the intersection between the nursing and then the fitness students. So here, that's what we would have right there. But now, because I've subtracted the intersection, notice the intersection has been subtracted now, so that's this intersection right here. So this has been subtracted one, two, and three. And notice that means that the middle one, that six that you see there, I've actually taken it away too many times. Okay, so now I have to be able to add it back in. So this would have been now plus, okay, I have to bring this back. Okay, so that is the total number in terms of the union. And if you do this, notice we should get 161. So let's see. So we have 82 plus 75 plus 51. Now minus 13 minus 21 minus 19 plus the 6. 161. All right. So the rule of thumb is... Okay, and this is interesting because I'll do one more example, which will have actually four sets, and I'll ask the same question. The rule of thumb is you first, if you notice, you're going to be adding these, okay? Then you're going to be subtracting these, and then you're going to be adding this. So you interchange. You add, subtract, add, subtract, add, subtract, okay? And then when you add it all in together, with the subtractions, you'll actually get the total number in union from there. So that's part B right here. 
Part C is how many students are not interested in applying to any of those programs? Well, we already did that. That's 68. So that's the beauty of having this Venn diagram that you can use it. All right, and you, I typically try to use that Venn diagram to answer these questions um, throughout. All right, that ends this example. I hope um, you, know, you can pause it, try it on your own, draw your Venn diagram, and then take out the information that you need. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, we'll see you in a future video. Bye, everybody.